welcome to this video guys in this video we will be designing this shaft and in our upcoming tutorial we will be using this in this coach yoke mechanism so let's begin click on part and click ok because we will be working in part file change the background to plain white and here make sure that you have selected mmgs as units because we are working in millimeters click on top plane click on sketch option select the circle here guys and make a circle at this origin press escape button select the smart dimensioning tool and here we need to specify the diameter the diameter here is 15 millimeter go to features extruded boss base because we want to extrude it and here we need to select the blind option and extrude it up to 75 75 millimeter press enter and simply check this box and now just give it some appearance because now we are going to make some key here so we want a plane that cut this shaft right in the middle that cut this shaft right in the middle so front plane is this in our case click on sketch option just make a center line here guys from this center point make sure this line is straight and press this escape button now select a center rectangle guys i want to make a center rectangle on this center line like this okay so this much is fine and now select smart dimension tool i want to specify the width of this key as let's specify as 4 4 is a bit wider so let's specify 3.5 this looks good and now specify the length of this key as 12 millimeter this looks fine and now it's time to extrude it so what i will be doing here go to features extruded boss base and this is a trick guys we need to specify here as surface and select the surface now the extrusion will be starting from this face and here i want to specify the height of the extrusion as 5 it's a bit larger so let's specify as 3.5 the same as the width this looks good and now simply check this box we are left with the fillet guys so click on fillet and select this corner select this option or you can select the other side of the shaft and here I need to specify uh, the parameter or the radius of the fillet. Mm, I think this much is fine. Just check this box. And now it's time to apply some fillets on this corner. So select the fillet and this corner. This fillet is way more larger than it can handle. So 0.5 and simply check the first one. The first one and automatically the fillet will be applied to other corners now select this one and the first option or manually you can apply the fillets on the corners i'm not going to apply the fillet on the top corner guys because there is no need to apply the fillet on the top corners and let's apply some appearance in this steel you can specify any appearance you like so in future videos definitely i will assemble this shot with the scotch yoke mechanism so see you in the next video guys